Born out of time A million miles From destiny Bound in chains Where once you reign Swept out to sea Within your soul is calling you, reminding you of who you truly are. Come home. you were born to be will meet you here come home where you belong Freedom in life there are moments to stop to stand still history makers survivors. From Tulsa, Oklahoma to testifying to Congress in Washington, D.C. My name is Viola Ford Fletcher. I'm the daughter of Lucinda Ellis and John Wesley Ford of Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm the sister of Hughes Van Ellis, who is also here today. I'm a survivor of the Tulsa Race Massacre. Two weeks ago, I celebrated my 107th birthday. Today, I'm visiting Washington, D.C. for the first time in my life. I'm here seeking justice, and I'm asking my country to acknowledge what happened in Tulsa in 1921. God raised up a woman a young witness and her brother, and raised a strong, vibrant, and caring wife, mother, grandmother, sister. It's her first visit to Africa at 107 years of age. Mother Fletcher and her baby brother, Uncle Red, at 100 years of age, are here to celebrate Africa in a very special way. I'm Ambassador Erica Bennett, Head of Mission for the Diaspora Africa Forum. We're just so excited to be hosting Mother Fletcher, 107, and her baby brother, Uncle Red, who's 100. Uh, we in Ghana, we know how to treat elders and so they have had a wonderful 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 time we want to thank lady rosa and archbishop duncan williams for the graciousness that they have given while they're here we want everybody to come to ghana and we want to be able to say aquaba i am sitting in the la palm hotel in the beautiful city of accra ghana with Mother Viola Ford Fletcher, who is 107 years old, and her brother, Uncle Red, her baby brother, Uncle Red, who's 100 years old. They are two of the three survivors of the 1921 massacre, the Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And they asked to come to Africa. And I had, it was no choice for me of, of the countries that I would suggest Ghana. And so today they arrived, and today we're here with you at Action Chapel. So we are so excited. The first stop is church. Welcome, Mother Viola. Welcome to Africa. I'd like to read from one of my favorite poems by David Leal. Africa, my Africa. Africa of proud warriors, 
in ancestral southerners, Africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. I have never known you, but your blood flows in my veins. Welcome to Africa. Welcome home, Mother Viola. To Africa, your Africa. This is Dr. Olua Jai from Action Chapel International. Mother Fletcher, Uncle Red, and your entire family, welcome home. It is such a blessing and honor to have you here and to be a part of the team to help to make this cherished dream that you have come true. Your dream, Mother Fletcher, to visit the motherland, the place from whence your ancestors came, and now you are returning. We thank you for making the journey. And I wanna thank you for being a blessing all of your life, a source of inspiration. When I look at the tragedies and trials that you've overcome, you are indeed a trailblazer. You are indeed a source of inspiration. And I wanna thank Bishop Dr. Tony Luck and Ambassador Erica Bennett for providing the continent with the opportunity to see you, to hear your story, and to tap into your wisdom and your inspiration. I can say for my family and I, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams and myself and the Action family, we love you, we honor you, we welcome you. This will be a special moment. She's inspired and empowered. Mother Fletcher, Aquaba. This is Mother Fletcher. I would like to thank our Black Truth and Dr. Luck for working so hard to send my family to the motherland. I am forever thankful. Welcome to Ghana. Bye, Africa.